Good morning, guys. It's uh, almost noon here at our home. Getting out kind of kind of late in the afternoon or, or, or late in the day for me. Coming out, checking things out. It's more of these beautiful flowers. Those are so neat. I don't know what the name of them are, but that one looks like it's about four foot tall. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Humidity is not too bad today. It's not too bad. It's probably about 75 degrees outside Fahrenheit. One of those days where uh, reflecting on my beliefs and how I see scripture and what I what I believe, what I know I believe. You know, I believe that the the work that our Savior done on the cross worked that all sins are forgiven, past, present, and future. And I believe that he was killed and was dead, put in the tomb and entombed for three days. Depending on his father to raise him from the dead, out from among the dead by faith. That's the, the faith that saves us. Is the faith of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. His faith is what saves us. And the grace that was given to us is because that salvation the, res the, the justification through His blood, we have been justified. All sin, it doesn't matter. All sin has been justified. There's nothing we can do about that. It was done for us. I believe that. I know that to be true. And I know that Jesus was vivified. His Father raised Him from the dead, vivified Him. As is the promise for us. His, by His resurrection, it is proof that we also will be roused out from among the dead and vivified. As we have been buried in His death and we have been roused through him ultimately that's the way it is that is awesome to know that law has been taken care of there's nothing we can do law is taken care of there is no uh, condemnation to those in Christ there is none And it's important that we understand that. Don't add anything to Scripture that's not there. You know, we don't do that. We don't add to Scripture. What good does it do us? The Word of God is perfect. And we can add nothing to it. Nothing. Just some things that was has been on my mind heavy today, yesterday, a couple of days, you know. Well, there's a lot of peace back here. You know, the peace that God gives us through times in our lives when doubt creeps in. 
and we're challenged in our belief. The peace that God gives us is, is so plain. You know, it's so cool how the peace that God, we have from God remains. How faithful He is. remarkable anyway before I get long go through 2nd Timothy 3 and verse 4 and there's a handful of references in here I take them out of out of Paul's writings because Paul is the apostle for us today Peter and James and John the circumcision is who that's for. Paul's writings are for us today, the, the body of Christ. And we're all being brought into a revelation of the truth in God's time. So, 2 Timothy 2, or 2 Timothy 3 and verse 4, and a handful of references. All right? And here's what we got. Traitors, rash, conceited, fond of their own gratifications rather than fond of God. Those who are rich in the current eon be charging not to be haughty, nor yet to rely on dubiousness of riches, but on God who is tendering us all things richly for our enjoyment, to be going, doing good acts, to be rich in ideal acts, to be liberal contributors, treasuring up for themselves an ideal foundation for that which is impending, that they may get hold of life, really. Now, I am entreating you, brethren, to be noting those who are making dissensions and snares beside the teaching which you learned, and avoid them. For such, for our Lord Christ, are not slaving, but for their own bowels, and through compliments and adulation, adulation are deluding the hearts of the innocent. Become imitators together of me, brethren, and be noting those who are walking thus, according as you have us for a model. For many are walking, as whom I often told you, yet now am lamenting also, as I tell it, who are enemies of the cross, the cross of Christ, whose consummation is destruction, whose God is the bowels, is their bowels, and whose glory is in their shame who to the terrestrial are disposed. Now, if any widow has children or descendants, let them learn to be devoted to their own household first and recuperate by paying their progenitors for this is welcome in God's sight. Now, one really a widow and alone relies on God and is remaining in petitions and prayers night and day. Yet she who is a prodigal, though living, is dead. These things also charge that they may be irrehensible. And that's the references to Second Timothy two or Second Timothy three and verse four. There. We'll put that up. We won't be adding anything to scripture. The creek bed looks like it's drying up. We got a few pockets of water. I was up looking at the the one coming down here and and uh, it has been dried up pretty good. Just pockets. Of course the spring over there is still running. We'll have that. So it's a beautiful day. I think I'll come back here and 
have a set. In fact, I'll get Marsha and we'll come back here and sit and just watch the morning, watch the afternoon come alive. Yeah, that's what I think we'll do. A beautiful day for it. So, let's go see what God's got for us. Y'all ready? I believe I am. He set us up, got our day started, and let's see how it works out. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Love you guys. See you then.